What's up, guys? Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to a restaurant with two buddies of mine. The place is called Husk. I've never heard of it. They said it's it's a really, really good uh, southern cuisine uh, restaurant. It's kind of fancy, so uh, it's and it's kind of pricey from what I'm hearing. And you need reservations, even at lunchtime. Go figure, right? So I'm like, okay. So I called a few days ago. I said, I don't need a reservation for today, 1130. They're like, we don't have any openings. I'm like, what? Okay. They go, we have one at 1145. I'm like, I'll take it. So we're heading over there right now. It's in some house, like a mansion or something. Uh, I'm kind of curious because it's, uh, it's just not my normal everyday type of uh, lunch place. So we're going to check it out. Let's head over to Husk right now and see if it's any good. Okay, guys, I'm on Rutledge Street, and there it doesn't look like there's plenty of parking right there on the street, but they have parking on the side of the building, which I didn't realize. Plenty of parking here. Ah, there they are right there. Galen and Zach. And you can, it's cool, because you can see the, uh, the stadium from here, and you can see how much Nashville is growing. They have these big old cranes and everything. It's sick, it's absolutely crazy. What's up guys What's up? so I didn't see this lot and I'm looking I'm like there's nowhere to park I know. I'm up and down this road I'm about ready to, to you see it's park on the streets it gets so full yeah this reminds me of the entryway to Manel's downtown yes it's yes. very similar completely different style though they actually have a garden on the other side where they grow all their own uh, I believe they grow their own herbs well, I believe they change their menu based upon what ingredients are fresh right the season cool. and what's going on around the markets in Nashville Awesome. I love that. So it's very natural. So it's very farm to table. Very yeah. farm to table. And there's their uh, garden. Ooh. What, only handicapped people allowed? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look here. What do you got? Wow. This is really cool. They've got all their uh, own stuff right here. What is that? Look at Zach stealing fruit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they will be known by their I fruit, got it. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's right. It's biblical. <laughs> so, okay. So I'm the guy from the city. What prevents people from just walking up here and taking stuff? Wrong kind of city you're from. <laughs> Tennessee, bro. Oh, we take care of our. You're own. getting lots of fan. You're getting a big fan base from my <laughs> California audience. Good job. <laughs> they know it. That's how it's the way it works, man. Okay, so is this, do we have to come out here to order stuff, or? This is, that... is a list of our purveyors, where we source all our ingredients. Oh, that's your source of yes, all, sir. everything. That's pretty cool. Look at this, guys. All right, I'll take up the, I just want to get a shot of this room. Look at this room. This is one room of about five tables. All right, so we're coming in here. There's where the magic happens. Whoop, downstairs, don't fall, Jack. Oh, 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 oh. Look at the beautiful setting. Ooh, it's nippy in here. I like it. Yeah, pretty cool. Is this today's menu, like? Right? Yes, sir. Awesome. Thank you. Do you print a new one every day? We do. You print a new menu every day. I do. <laughs> That's great. Because the menu changes, right? Yeah, little things here and there. The major changes happen like every couple of weeks. Right. It's like a subtle evolution from day to day. Nice. It's very much one of the things to do is to order like a few things and then just everybody. So you want to do like family stuff? That's, I don't you want to eat family stuff? Yeah. You can try more food that way. If you guys yeah. want, I don't care. Let's do it. So here's the menu, guys. If you need to see the menu, just pause the video. Husk fried chicken, secret spices. Yeah, this is all I love the word secret. That's just a great word. This is just all secret spices. All right, shrimp and grits. Who's gonna tell me why shrimp and grits is everything around here? It's a southern staple. It's amazing. It's you, you both have had shrimp and grits? Oh yeah, man. Yeah? Uh, I mean, I've had grits. If you're eating grits for lunch or for dinner, you can do like shrimp and grits, cheese and grits, and stuff like that. If you're eating grits for breakfast, brown sugar or white sugar in it, kind of like you would do some oatmeal to sweeten it and stuff like right. that. Some okay. people eat straight grits. I'm not on that flavor. No. I gotta have something mixed in. Okay, so we're not talking the grits at Cracker Barrel. No, no, no. Not that crap. No, no, no. 
Because that crap, I, I would like fill holes in the you wall with. You have to with. put sugar. No, that's... that's I, don't that's know, I love Cracker Barrel. I can't say anything bad about Cracker Barrel. <laughs> the Coca-Cola right, at Cracker Barrel is amazing. The what? The Coke. The Coke. The, the Coca-Cola. Coca yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The soft drinks are fantastic. You can't, can't ruin Coca-Cola. <laughs> So you put, you put bacon fat in the grits? Put bacon fat in anything? Yeah. yeah. I, made burger, I made mini sliders last night at home and sauteed my burger patties in bacon fat. Yeah. Hey Amen. I would eat my foot if bacon fat was on it. Seriously. I, yeah. yeah. I would not eat your foot. No. No, but you'd eat your own foot. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, talk to me about the shrimp and grits. Alright, so the basic thing about the shrimp and grits is that is Chef Brock's baby. Okay, so everything that we do with the shrimp and grits is based off of what his recommendations and his orders are. So, um, his influence is going to be basically with Appalachian uh, cooking and then his Charleston uh, at work and all the stuff that he's done. He went to school uh, in Charleston, was influenced by it. So, um, we start off with our Geechee Boy grits. Uh, it's going to have some Asiago and buttermilk cheddar. Yep. Uh, it's going to be folded in. We're going to have a, a shrimp head broth. It's going to have um, tomatoes uh, sauteed in. We're have, we uh, use corn pops um, for the sauce as well, shrimp heads, um, and heavy cream. Um, we're going to have the corn we actually grill that's in that recipe. We grill the corn, cut it off, and then use the cob for the, the shrimp head broth itself. So it's all, wow. yeah, all tied together. So this is like a work of art. It's all and it, work and, of art, and yeah. shrimp grits originate in the Carolinas, kind of, right? Yeah. yeah, and the shrimp that we use are uh, red shrimp that we get uh, about, say, a couple thousand feet off. It's a couple thousand feet deep, so it's cold water shrimp. All right, so that, that's lard butter? Honey lard butter. It looks like something my wife puts on her face. Awesome. <laughs> okay. No, I'm serious. Doesn't look like makeup? It's a little makeup yeah. thing. Besides the makeup. All right, and then the bread is, what is it? Parker House Bowls. Nice. Look at that. Oh my god. Look goodness. how easy that is. Look how soft that is. Guys, that's how, that's how butter should be. Right Look at how spreads. And it's lard butter. Honey lard. Honey lard butter. Oh my gosh. They took it to a whole new level. Yeah, that's heaven. Alright, so we're gonna let Galen give it If y'all weren't game. here, I would be like just sitting here like this, dipping it. <laughs> yeah. Honey lard butter good? Yeah. Really? It's almost got so that's sweet. Right? And for me, it's almost like a, not a sourdough, right. but it's got that little tang, right. but not enough, like, it's not strong. It, it's really like a, I would say like a sweet and sour roll. I don't know how else to put it. Really? Okay, so this came out when he walked out, you could smell it. I don't even know, it's an amazing presentation. Look at the little cast iron bowl and, and this specialty dip. That's just gorgeous, look at that. Yep, that's the stuff you want. And you know what I like? You ever been to a place where like every every dipping sauce is the same on every dish? Or everything they put on the yeah. burger? They put it everywhere, right? Yeah. Yeah, this drives me nuts. This they place, is, everything's, good at everything's got its own. Oh, look at that. Oh, what do you got there? It's all charred. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Hold on, look it's at this mouth watering. Look at the watering. All right. all right, first bite right there. Come on, bro. You be honest, right? Oh, right. I'm lost. All right, so what are you tasting right now? You get some sweet, some savory. <laughs> she got a little heat on her. What? Got a little heat on her. The spice. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. But you, you can, know me do hot wings? No, but you can you can taste the uh, you can even taste the brown sugar in there. It's good. And the char coming through. Oh yeah. All right, guys, you ready? All right. First of all, temperature-wise, it's burning my fingertips. It's awesome. I love it. Wow. The chard, oh, it hits you in the back of the throat. There it is. Yep. It's the back of the throat heat, which means it's more of a peppery kind of a heat. Oh, it's good. It's cooked perfectly, guys. Here's your husk cheeseburger. There's your shrimp and grits. And then this is the catfish. Look at that. What is that on a log? That's crazy. All right, go ahead and try shrimp and grits, Galen. All right, I gotta make sure I get, get a little everything on it. Where's the best you've had shrimp and grits? Do you remember? Uh, no. Can so I remember? You just that? Had, it's just probably Louisiana at my 
Oh, Louisiana? Cousin's house. Yep. Take your time. I don't need information right now. I just didn't see. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can you save that thought for outside? Oh yeah. You need to remember for outside. All right. Oh yeah. So I just want to show you guys enjoying it, but we'll talk about outside, okay? All right. So All right, sure. and you're gonna do the burger, right? Yep. You kiss. You think I'm a big burger fan? Zach is a bigger burger fan. I am. If there's such a thing, unbelievable. Here we go. And then once again, don't give me any comments. Just, just analyze it. And you got a good take on it? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Yeah. All right, we're going to let you know outside in the review. Okay, so this, I was told, um, Galen said that that white onion uh, mixture with the sauce on it is like their version of a tartar sauce on the fish. So here we go. Okay. All right, we're gonna review this outside. So we can tell you the good, the bad, and everything. Everything we feel. Um, I'm really excited to talk to you outside. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, put it in my hand. Just put it in my hand. I don't care, just put it in my hand. Okay guys. Alright, now you know how brutally honest I am. I'm not to say who this came from. But somebody had catfish with a bone in it. And that's just not cool. But I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm just showing you what happened here, that's all. This made it worse for me. Okay, hold on. Alright, Galen, come on man, get over here. Come on. Oh. Now, you cannot tell a lie. I'm the optimist of the group. Be be an optimist, but be truthful. Okay, location, A plus. Great. Service, A plus. Great. Server's knowledge, Great. off the charts. Great. Uh, vibe and everything, I'm A all plus. This out. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> the wings are some of the best wings, completely different than what you're used to. So don't be thinking barbecue on an NFL Sunday. But if you want a unique experience, the wings uh, come here for the wings and uh, appetizers and stuff like that. The solid food, as in the meals like the burgers and the catfish, um, were just, in my opinion, normal. And first I looked at the menu and I was like, hey man, the prices are you know, really good here. And then I realized there's a reason why it's not a $50 burger. It's, a, it's not worth 20. Um, as far as the shrimp and grits, I personally liked it. The other guys felt like it was a little salty. Hey, don't um, tell them that. Hey, hey. We're gonna be doing our review. <laughs> well, I personally like the shrimp and grits, except for the onions. I would have left a little less onions. I'm not an onion person. Left that out. Um, I am a shrimp. I'm a salt person. So, totally loved that. Uh, burger, eh. I don't like the the bun, even though he talked about it for 40 minutes. Uh, that was a big lead down. I think if he had talked less and talked it up less and just kind of let it, I might have liked it a little more. But wings, wings, wings. And the bread. The bread and the honey butter lard sauce were awesome. But as far as coming here, uh, if you want to take the time to make the reservation and fight for a parking spot, you might as well go to Longhorn. So. Booyah, dude! <laughs> dude he ended. All right. He ended Longhorn? Here, hold that for me. So I'm that just okay? Hey, that was good. I'm just reviewing true, the burger. No, true? did you just, yeah, you just dissed them hard at the end there. Is that yeah, bad? You, totally no, good. it's good. You need to just do the burger? Do everything, man. Okay, all right. Yeah, so the uh, it's great. Like the location is beautiful. The place is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, we heard that. Garden. Get to the great. food. It's great. The Get food, to the food. The food. <laughs> All right. So I was tasked with reviewing the burger. So the the burger, I have high standards for burgers. And so this burger, bread was okay. Uh, the meat was okay. I couldn't really taste the meat because the the mustard was just overpowering. Uh, it's not a burger I would recommend. I, it's definitely not a burger I would come back to eat. The only thing that I would come back here to eat would be the wings and I bet there are better places in town to get wings on a consistent basis so uh, yeah for me shrimp and grits I don't know a little uh, pretty buttery pretty creamy which is great but really really salty really salty so I would uh I don't know I'd, I'd give this a uh, D for uh, for a restaurant just because of the price and, and you look like a teacher too so thank you for grading yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> okay so I am gonna say something nice the waiter was awesome. He was brilliant. He knew every aspect of the food. 
Now, the wings were great. There, we got the good stuff out of the way. Everything else was a letdown. Too much bun on the burger, too much mustard on the burger. The meat, you couldn't, for the charbroiledness or the, or the blackening of the wings, that, fla that charbroiled flavor was amazing. I get to the burger, I expect to taste some flavor in the patty. There was nothing. Um, so the burger was a letdown. Catfish was eh. It was okay. Don't get the catfish, by the way. Okay. Yeah, he <laughs> said thank you. Um, so anyway, um, it was it was just catfish house. If you want catfish, go to uh, Riverside Grill Shack if you want a burger. And then what was the other thing we had, guys? What was the third thing? Shrimp and grits. Oh, shrimp and grits. Yeah. I'm still not impressed. I didn't like grits. I didn't like these shrimp and grits because they were real salty. I think I need less salt and more cheese. That's what I require in my shrimp and grits. I'm just feeling it, guys. So, would I ever come back here again? No. Making reservations, they told me, they told me there was an 11.30 reservation. I walk in, 11.30, the building's empty. So I don't get that. So I went to 11.45. So thank you guys for your kindness here. Thank you, uh, the quality's here. I know that, but the flavor's lacking. That's it, I'll see you on the next episode. Take care, bye-bye.